Hi, hello, welcome back to another subject of SMCQ series. Now I am going to introduce our subject of SMCQ series 2. And today's topic is selected multiple choice questions, answers and its related points from the subject Pharmaceutics 1. So you can also check out the subject of SMCQ series 1 from our video list. And I just included its link in the description box and in the card. So you can check out that also. Ok, let's start our topic. First one give example for an internal semi-solid dosage form option a syrup b suppositories c effervescent granules and option d jellies correct answer is option b that is suppositories ok the semi-solid dosage forms are classified into external semi-solid dosage form and internal semi-solid dosage form then the example for external semi-solid dosage forms are ointments creams paste and jellies and examples for internal semi-solid dosage forms are suppositories and pessaries. Second question, the smallest size of capsule is represented by the number option A0, B1, C5 and option D100. Correct answer is option C that is 5. Then question number 3, name the filter aid. Option A cotton wool, B filter paper, C perlite and option D all. Correct answer is option C perlite. So the various filter media employed for filtration are filter paper, cotton wool, glass wool, asbestos, fine cloth, filter cloth, membrane filters and sintered glass filters. And the filter aid materials are cellulose, asbestos that is aluminium silicate, carbon, then diatomaceous earth that is silica and perlite which is silica and aluminium silicate. Fourth one, the flow properties of the powder depends upon. Options are A particle size, B angle of repose, C surface texture and option D all. Correct answer is option D all. Question number 5. Sieve through which 40% of the coarse powder particle pass. Option A sieve number 44, B sieve number 10, Option C sieve number 22 and Option D sieve number 85. Correct answer is Option A that is sieve number 44 and the sieve through which all the coarse powder particles must pass is sieve number 10. Question number 6. 1 row piece dash ml. Option A 60 ml, B 6 ml, C 0.6 ml and option D 0.06 ml. Correct answer is option D that is 0.06 ml. Question number 7. The standard unit for measurement of weight in metric system is option A pound, B kilogram, C gallon and option D grains. Correct answer is option B that is kilogram. Ok, the two systems of weights and measurements are imperial system and the metric system. Then the measurement of weight in the imperial system is divided into avoid dupoi system and the apothecary system. Pound is the standard unit of weight in the avoid dupoi system and a grain is the standard unit of weight in the apothecary system. Then gallon is the standard unit of measurement of capacity in the imperial system. Then as I told before, Kilogram is the standard unit of measurement of weight in the metric system and liter is the standard unit of measurement of capacity in the metric system. Question number 8. The Indian Pharmacopoeia list was published as a supplement to Option A. British Pharmacopoeia B. USP C. Pharmacopoeia of India and Option D. IPC Correct answer is Option A. That is British Pharmacopoeia Question number 9. Dash containers should comply with the test for hydrolytic resistance as given in IP. Option A. Plastic containers. B. Glass containers. C. Metal containers. And option D. None. Correct answer is option B. That is glass containers. Question number 10. Type 1 glass is also called. Option A. Porosilicate glass. B. Neutral glass. C. Both A and B. And option D. None. Correct answer is option C, both A and B, that is borosilicate glass and neutral glass is called the type 1 glass. Question number 11, the soda lime silicate glass with high hydrolytic resistance is option A, type 1 glass, B, type 2 glass, 
C type 3 glass and option D both B and C. Correct answer is option B that is type 2 glass. Question number 12. Name the very commonly used closures with three components. Option A plug type closures, B crown cap, C push fit cap and option D screw closures. Correct answer is option D that is screw closures. Okay, here the three components of screw closures are cap, wad and liner. Wad is a seal which prevents the contamination of the product. Liner is made of metal foil, rubber, plastic film etc. Question number 13. The cold fill process is associated with option A glass containers, B plastic containers, C aerosol packing and option D metal containers. Correct answer is option C that is aerosol packings. Actually the cold fill process is used to fill metered aerosol products using a fluorocarbon propellant. Question number 14. By using a dash valve, only a definite quantity of medicament is expelled when actuator is pressed. Option A continuous spray valve, B metering valve, C foam valve and option D both A and B. Correct answer is metering valve. So there are mainly three type of valves are used in aerosol packings. They are the continuous spray valve, metering valve and foam valve. So by using continuous spray valve, the medicament is expelled continuously as long as pressure is applied on the actuator. And by using a metering valve, only a definite quantity of medicament is expelled when actuator is pressed. And if the content of the aerosol are required to come out in the form of a bowl of foam, a foam valve can be used. Question number 15. Name the mill used for producing intermediate grades of powder from almost all type of substance except sticky materials. Option A cutter mill, B roller mill, C hammer mill and option D disintegrator. Correct answer is option C that is a hammer mill. Question number 16. The action of edge runner mill. Option A cutting, B impact, C compression and option D crushing and shearing. Correct answer is option D that is crushing and shearing. Question number 17. Dash is the process of separation of fine particles and coarse particles from a paste obtained after levigation. Option A impact, B attrition, C levigation, option D both B and C. Correct answer is option C levigation. Question number 18. What is the pore size of membrane filter to remove all type of bacteria? Option A 15 micron, B 2 micron, C 0.1 micron and option D 0.2 micron. Correct answer is option D that is 0.2 micron. Question number 19. The type of percolator used in simple percolation process. Option A conical percolator, B cylindrical percolator, C steam jacketed percolator and option D all. Correct answer is option D all. Question number 20. Dash is the process of complete removal of mechanically admixtured water from substance. Option A desiccation, B sublimation, C evaporation and option D distillation. Correct answer is option A that is desiccation. Okay, sublimation is the process in which a solid get converted into vapors without the formation of a liquid and on cooling the vapors get converted into solid. Then evaporation means a free escape of vapor from the surface of a liquid below its boiling point. And distillation is the process of converting liquid into its vapors by heating and reconverting it again into liquid by condensing the vapors. Question number 21. Press coating is done in dash tablet machine. Option A single punch tablet machine, B multi punch tablet machine, C both A and B and option D tricota rotary tablet machine. Correct answer is option D that is the tricota rotary tablet machine. Question number 22. Smallpox vaccine contains dash virus. Option A lived attenuated vaccinia virus, B killed virus, C no virus and option D both A and B. Correct answer is option A that is the lived attenuated vaccinia virus. Question number 23. Antibiotics which make the bacteria more susceptible to phagocytosis are called. Option A antitoxin, B toxoids, 
C. Vaccine and Option D. Opsonins Correct answer is Option D. That is Opsonins. Next question. The cholera vaccine contains not less than dash bacteria per milliliter. Option A. 100 million. B. 120 million. C. 1000 million. And Option D. 12,000 million. Correct answer is Option D. That is 12,000 million. Question number 25. The output of size reduction of material in the machine depends on Option A. Chemical nature B. Bulk density C. Physical character and Option D. Material structure Correct answer is Option B. That is the bulk density Okay, that's all for today's session. If you like the video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much.